Now, I did find a site. I did some digging and I found a site that tracks token unlocks. And I never found this site before, right? I didn't know this site existed, all right? I have a few sites that I use to track token unlocks, but this site was tracking or is tracking a token unlock that occurred for Neon about two days ago. Yeah, yeah, about two days ago. You can see here, two day, minus two days left. That means it happened two days ago. And it says 243 million Neon from the treasury for our for ecosystem growth and the treasury. All right, so I will put the link to this in the description so you could go here and do your own DD. All right, because we could also be dealing with not only, um, you know, profit taking, but now we have more tokens in circulation. OK, all right. So I'll put the link to this site. It's called drops tab dot com. All right. You guys can track Neon's token unlocks here. All right. And I wish I found this site about three weeks ago. All right. Yeah, totally. I would have took more profits at the top. All right but it's fine I'm, I'm i know where neon is going all right i did hear that there was uh some network issue that they're working out all right and i'm confident that the neon team is going to resolve that issue i mean they've gotten neon this far and neon is doing something that's really innovative all right and i don't see anybody else doing what they're doing so you might have some issues in the beginning all right Ethereum has had issues. Solana has had issues. I think Algorand has had issues. So many of the leading multi-billion dollar projects have had network issues, if this is true, all right? So I'm not worried about any issues um, that, that may be going on with the Neon network, because I'm sure that the team will resolve the issue. They have some of the brightest minds working on Neon, all right? So shout out to them uh, for making Neon great. So use this site to track token unlocks, okay? Along with other token unlock sites, I recommend that you use multiple because in crypto, it seems like some of these sites don't always have all the information, all right? So it's good to have uh, different sources to pull information in, especially when you're investing in new projects that have vesting schedules, all right? One site, may not be the end all be all as you know as your your best source it's good to have multiple based on this site all right yeah it says unlocked 293.10 million neon okay all right guys so you guys check this out when you get a chance like i said i do think that the 150 zone is a good buy zone and it should hold that support until further notice. Now, yesterday I mentioned that Neon could come as low as around 140, which is where the bottom of this Bollinger Band is. Let me delete my alert here. And that's exactly what Neon did, right? So he came all the way down to around 142, okay? Came down to 142, now he's getting bought back up, all right? Now, I mentioned that we should get a bounce here soon, and it looks like we're getting a bounce, all right? Now I can see 212 as an area where Neon might get rejected, okay? Now, this is totally possible, all right? It's totally possible. But all in all, this looks like normal healthy price action, aside from another variable. I'm gonna show you that here shortly, all right? Now, Neon, uh, we got into Neon at around 7.6 cents. That's when I gave the signal to my patrons I was getting into this. All right, so if you pull a Fib, Fibonacci tool from the bottom of Neon here, which was around, let's just say 5.2 cents. We'll get 5.3 cents, all right? Neon is trading right at the 618. And typically, this is a zone where buyers will step in and buy the asset after it has a correction okay so this correction for neon is about let's say 62 63 percent this is a 63 percent pullback on neon all right so 
I was expecting a pullback like this, to be honest. I mean, it did a 50X from where I bought it, all right? So I'm not surprised that it had a, a deep retracement like this, all right? The RSIs and the oscillators, they need to cool off, okay? Nothing can go up in a straight line, all right? So, you know, a lot of people who miss neon under 10 cents, they miss neon at around 20 cent, they miss neon at 60 cent, they miss neon under a dollar. They now have a second opportunity to buy neon at around a dollar forty to a dollar seventy, as it's pushing up at the time of this recording. Okay, so this yellow band here is the indicator. Okay, now it's not a hundred percent, but I just use it sometimes as a guide. And as you can see here, on the daily we breached it. We're stuck between the top and the bottom. And this band acts like quicksand once you get stuck in the middle of it, okay? And typically, when the asset or when the, the, the candles get stuck between these two bands, there's more downside ahead, okay? That, that, that's normally how I see this play out whenever, whenever that happens, okay? There's some times where it'll, it'll recover and reverse, all right? But... I'm just preparing you for more downside, okay? Because I think it's possible. It's not guaranteed, but it's possible. Anybody who shows you charts and tries to guarantee you something's gonna happen, it's just a probability at the end of the day, okay? It's not guaranteed. So I can't say that it's a 100% safe to buy at the 618 level on this Fibonacci zone, right? But what I can say is that it is a good risk to reward traditionally to buy in this zone okay now we are still extremely oversold on the daily okay i mean we're we're just flatlined here it, it just looks like this crypto is dead and it's gonna bleed off forever i don't think that's the case neon is still doing very well as a project all right and as a company okay so so what we could see is a bounce from here from this 140 up to around 198 meet rejection and roll back over that's totally possible but i wouldn't expect to just blast off and go straight up from here though it's crypto and it's totally possible all right all right so if you take a look at the two day you can see we just breached this yellow band so this is good. If we can avoid getting sucked into this yellow band between these, the top and the bottom of this yellow band, that's good. Okay. But if we get stuck in between this on the two day, it's not going to be good. Now I'm not the best chart person as far as like patterns and all this stuff. I don't really get into that. I deal with support and resistance and some patterns. Okay. So I'm used to how this yellow band, and blue band works all right when we're above it we're bullish when we get sucked into it we're bearish and when we fall below it we're bearish okay now if you take a look at let's see bitcoin just to give you an idea of how accurate this particular uh indicator is you can see that as soon as it flips yellow we're bullish so bitcoin flipped bullish on 16 October 2023 okay so we've stayed above it ever since then you could see here once we got sucked in between these bands we fell below the band we kind of peeked out of it but we fell below the band and then went back through it to the upside and every time we get sucked into it we get pulled to the bottom to the bottom of the band and then below it okay so Again, it's only temporary. It doesn't mean it's going to last forever, okay? But it just indicates to me that there's more potential downside, okay? So you could have something like what happened here where we got Bitcoin got sucked into the band, the yellow band. He fell a little bit below it and then he blasted through it back up, but you see then got pulled back into it, all right? But this is Bitcoin, a totally different asset, all right? But if you look at something like mint layer you can see the difference in the price action mint layer has stayed away and stayed above this yellow band since i first found it and did my first video so i found mint layer under three cents and since then 
that band Flip Yellow and it has not touched it in the past few months, all right? So that's typically how this band works. When you're clearly above it and there's a clear separation from the asset and this band, you're in extreme bull mode. Let's take a look at Solana. Take a look at Solana here. Solana. The band Flip Yellow on Solana, 14 October, and it's been above it clearly ever since then. Now that's on the two day. Let's take a look at the daily. So on the daily, he's been able to avoid this band, this yellow band the whole time. Now he's getting sucked into it. This is bearish, all right? Now, if Solana gets sucked between the top and the bottom of this band, historically, that's that indicates more downside. Temporary, of course, all right? Temporary, of course. So if Solana falls between this band, again, this is the indicator, all right? It's only probabilities then I'm looking for the next support zone for Solana, which is around $68. And that's what I think a lot of the cryptos, the altcoins are experiencing right now. They're experiencing a correction, a pullback. We get the ETF announcement in a couple of hours. Maybe if it's positive, maybe we pump and maybe we dump. <laughs> if it's negative, they don't approve it. We're probably going to dump and altcoins are going to dump even more, which means neon could be affected by that as well. OK, but if we take a look back at neon. Let's see here. Neon on Bybit. All right. You can see we just got sucked into this band on the daily. And like I said, on the two day, we're still above it. But I don't like to see neon in this band in between this band on the two day. All right. And you can see on the 12 hour, we're below it. And this band has started to arch over. Like it's it's no longer up, okay? It started to roll over and curl over. So I could see resistance for Neon at around $2. And maybe we roll back over and maybe try to consolidate between 150 and $2, okay? That's what I would like to see, all right? I would like to see us consolidate between this zone here that's what i would like to see okay but the strongest support for neon i think is down here and it reminds me of the pepe chart a little bit if you take a look at pepe i know i know guys i know neon is not pepe but take a look at it and this is what i i said about pepe when it first broke out and it had this parabolic run up all right was this on mexi was this on mexi yeah, I think this was on Mech C. All right. So so you can see here on Pepe, he was way overextended beyond this yellow line. All right. Now, let me get rid of my drawings. You can see here with this band. We came all the way back into this band and got sucked in between the bands and we fell below it. OK, now if you go in on the four hour, you can see a little bit more action. OK, let me see here. Let's see. Yeah, so you could see you have to drill in here to see the order blocks here. But you could see here that this was the launch point, the second launch point from here. OK, I didn't think that we would retrace all the way back down here from the point of origin, but I saw this as where we were going. All right. And I told people when when Pepe was up here, I said Pepe is coming down to all these zeros and an eight two. And that was in May. OK, that was May. And it took Pepe. One month to come to come down and touch this line. OK, it took him 35 days approximately. All right. And where is Pepe today? Let's see. He actually dipped below it and then he dipped above it. So now we're slightly above that point. OK, so if you look at neon. So that point that I just showed you with Pepe is similar to either this point or this point, this point here at 150 or this point here at around 80 cents or 
here at 45 cents worst case and i know nobody even wants to hear that because nobody wants to see a 50 cent neon unless you're a person who didn't buy neon at 50 cents the first time all right so i just wanted to show you guys that you know i would say that right now is a good risk to reward to buy neon but that's traditionally based on fibonacci zones all right we should bounce from here all right but i don't know that we're going straight up like i don't feel like we'd be going straight up back to three dollars and ninety cents like tomorrow or next week now it's crypto and anything could happen if the etf gets approved and the market just goes on this crazy bull run neon could just light back up right but there is a possibility for us to come down to even let's see on the three day yeah, your next zone of support would be 87 cents. If this $1.40 zone gets lost, maybe 120. All right. This is totally possible. All right. So I just wanted to show you guys that. All right. So quick chart wrap up. We should bounce from the 618, which is at around 150. Okay. If that support is lost, you're looking at 120 and then the sub 120 neon okay that's that's totally possible if we lose 120 then i could see a 87 cent neon all right all right guys i hope you found this video informal smash up the likes and i will talk to you later deuce crypto out